In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a PlayStation 2 emulator for Android called Nether SX2 Classic. The phone I will be using is a Samsung Galaxy S24 FE paired with a GameSir X5 Lite controller. Okay, we're gonna head on over to the official GitHub page, Nether SX2 Classic. I will leave the link to this page in a pinned comment below. Once you are here, scroll all the way to the bottom and you will see releases. Go ahead and tap right here. The latest release as the recording of this video is 2.0 that was just released yesterday. Let's scroll down until we see assets. And then you want to tap on this file here to download the APK. Now you're going to get this pop up saying the file might be harmful. There is nothing to worry about. Download anyway. Now we're going to go to our downloads folder. I'm going to open my my files app, go to downloads. And there's that APK file install. Now I'm not going to open the emulator yet. We're going to go back. And I also want to show you guys on my phone. If we go to internal storage, I have created a folder here called PS2 ROMs. And inside of that folder, I have some PS2 ROMs as well as my PS2 BIOS file that is required to get this emulator up and running. Also, make sure that all of your ROMs have been extracted into an ISO format to become playable. Now, I am sorry, guys, I cannot tell you here where to get ROMs or where to get a BIOS file, but they are not hard to find. Just do a Google search and I'm pretty sure you will find both. If you need additional help, then you can check out my Patreon page and link in the description. And I have some videos there that will help you out with both of these. Now we can go ahead and open Nether SX2. Now, if you have a mid to high end device, then you want to check here. If you have a low end device, then you want to check here. My phone is pretty mid, so I'm going to leave this checked. Let's scroll down. Aspect ratio. Now this is up to you. You can play your games as PS2 games are meant to be played in a four to three aspect ratio. But for me, I prefer to play my games widescreen at a 16 to nine aspect ratio. Scroll down some more theme. If you leave it on follow system, it will set your theme to whatever your phone settings are, which as of right now, my settings are on light. I'm going to change it to dark. For the GPU renderer, I'm going to change this to Vulcan. I find that Vulcan will give you the best performance. Upscale multiplier. Now this is your graphics. You can crank this all the way up to eight times if you would like, but you need to have a pretty powerful phone. I prefer to go with 2.5. Now, if you don't have a powerful phone and your game is lagging or stuttering a lot, then the first thing you want to do is come back here and try to lower your graphics settings. Next. Now let's import our BIOS. To access folders you created on your phone, you want to come up here to the top left, tap on these three lines, go to the name of your phone, and I'm going to find that folder I created right here, PS2 ROMs, locate the BIOS file, and then tap on it. BIOS imported. And there's my USA BIOS, I'm going to go ahead and select it, and next. Now let's add our game directories, tap on the plus button. Now, since I have my ROMs in the same folder as my BIOS file, it automatically took me back to that PS2 folder. If you have your ROMs in a different location, then you need to search for that folder and then come down here and tap on use this folder and allow. Next, and we are finished. and it will start scanning for your games. And there we are. And now let's download some cover art for our games. And to get this, we're gonna head back over to GitHub. I'm gonna leave the link to this page in a pinned comment below. Once you get here, scroll down, and you're gonna see use this URL for default covers. You wanna tap right here. This will copy that link then we're gonna head back over to the emulator. Make sure your phone is in portrait mode and not landscape. Come up here, tap on the three lines, 
go to download covers and we're going to go ahead and delete this URL here. And we're going to paste the link we got from GitHub, then tap download. And there we are, we have cover art. Not sure why it's 3D boxes. I selected default, but hey, it looks good. Now I'm gonna turn my phone back into landscape. And if you don't wanna see your games in a list view, then come up here and tap this, and it will change your games into a grid display. And I think this looks better. And if you want to customize your background, we can do that as well. Let's come back up here to the three lines and come down to change background and change. Now you could change your background to whatever you like. You just wanna choose a photo you have in your phone. So I went to Google and I got some PlayStation 2 wallpapers and I like this one here, which is the PlayStation 2 startup screen. And as you see, now my wallpaper is that background. Now, whenever you add new PS2 ROMs to your phone, make sure they are installed in the same folder as your current games. And if they don't automatically appear when you load up the emulator, then you wanna come up here, scroll down, and tap on scan for new games and those new ROMs will be located. And also right here, you can access your save state manager. Now let's set up our controller. Scroll up, and we're gonna go to controller settings. Now I'm gonna be using a controller with this emulator, but if you are gonna be using your on-screen display, then you wanna come over to touchscreen and you wanna change your touchscreen controller view to a dual analog pad. This way, instead of having one analog stick, you will have two. Now to set up my controller, I'm gonna to go to port one. Make sure your controller type is set on DualShock 2. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my controller and now I'm going to come down to automatic mapping and the emulator will detect your controller. In my case, I am using my GameSir X5 Lite. I'm going to tap on that controller and automatic mapping complete. So my controller has been mapped out for me. Now, if you are not happy with the button layout, then you can scroll down and you could change any button here that you're not happy with. You just tap on which button you wanna change. It's gonna ask you which button do you want to remap it to. Now let's go back over to touch screen. And since I am gonna be using a controller, then right here where it says hide with external controller, we're gonna turn this on. This way, as long as I am using my controller, the on-screen touch buttons will not be displayed. And let's go back to our games. Now we can go ahead and load up a game. Now when you're in a game and you wanna access your load state or save states, then either swipe from the left or right of your screen. And you can access your load states here and your save states. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one.